Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Property Show. Today's buyers are looking slightly further in their quest for more cost-effective options. Our property pick of the week features 10 top most searched properties in this season. The accessory spot highlights another sought after topic on how to accessorize a rental home without breaking the lease agreement. Our home ownership segment shares the most watched home experiences and the ABCs of climbing the property ladder. I'm telling you, your neighbor can piss you off to a point where you're in shock. So you have to go and sit back and become a grown-up and learn how to live together. We have a gripping lineup. Sit back, relax, and let's enjoy the show. As always, there is something for everyone. The real estate market has shifted. Traditionally, buyers were willing to forego an outdoor space in favor of a larger kitchen or a bathroom. Today, we are now seeing the opposite trend emerge and replaced by an appeal for gardens, balconies, and outdoor spaces, which have become buyers' newfound appreciation. Months of uncertainty and restricted hours, outdoor living have forced us to reassess what we want in our homes. Today, we highlight 10 of the most sought after property spots this season. These properties are getting a lot of interest with a guarantee of value for money. Our first most sought after property this season takes us to a residential investment option available in Two Rivers. A world-class mixed-use development redefining how we live, work and play. Let's see what Cascadia Apartments has to offer. Cascadia Apartments is located within the thriving Two Rivers development, a world-class mixed-use development within Nairobi's Blue Diplomatic Zone. Cascadia sits on five acres with 400 units of one, two and three bedroom apartments, as well as three bedroom duplexes with a plinth area ranging from 57 all the way to 158 square meters. The apartments are spread on five blocks of apartments as well as five blocks of duplexes. Amenities at Cascadia Apartments include spacious separate living and dining area leading to the balcony with beautiful views, an open plan, modern kitchen with marbled countertop, as well as inbuilt fridge, dishwasher, oven, microwave, hob and cooker with piped LPG gas, top and bottom cabinets for storage, laundry area with an extra sink, common cloakroom, all the bedrooms come with walk-in closets and the master bedroom comes with a shower cubicle as well as his and hers sink. The project comes with state-of-the-art lighting system and high-quality finishings. The salient features in the project include beautifully landscaped gardens, greenery lounges, clubhouse, fully equipped gym, half olympic size swimming pool, soccer pitch, rooftop garden, safe and secure children play area, fiber optic link for DSTV, internet and telephone, high speed lifts in each tower, wheelchair access, access control entry to the apartment blocks, 
video door phone with intercom and CCTV camera, reliable water provided by Two Rivers Water, and full backup power provided by Two Rivers Power Company, ample car parking for both residents and visitors, private storage area in the basement for every resident. When looking to enjoy luxurious downtime, Cascadia Apartments affords you immediate access to fine dining restaurants, entertainment, fashion avenues, hypermarkets and plenty of green parks. The second most sought after project this season is also located in the thriving Two Rivers development. Riverbank Apartments comes with smart modern aspects and top of the line amenities. Let's see why this project takes. Riverbank Apartments is a residential flagship project sitting on two acres of land located within Two Rivers Development. A world-class mixed-use development within Nairobi's Blue Diplomatic Zone. The project consists of one, two and three bedroom apartments incorporating smart gadgets, controlling aspects of the home including the alarm system, music, curtains among others. Amenities in the project include spacious separate living and dining area leading to the balcony with beautiful views, an open plan modern kitchen with marble countertop as well as inbuilt fridge, dishwasher, oven, microwave, hob and cooker with piped LPG gas, top and bottom cabinets for storage, laundry area with an extra sink, common cloakroom, all the bedrooms have walk-in closets and the master bedroom comes with a bathtub shower cubicle as well as his and hers sink. The project comes with state-of-the-art lighting system as well as high quality finishings. Riverbank Apartments affords you immediate access to fine dining restaurants, entertainment, fashion avenues, hypermarkets and plenty of green parks. Projects within Two Rivers offer competitive entry prices with compelling rental yields and reliable capital appreciation driven by location, the mixed-use community and an on-ground experienced urban management team. Our next stop of the most sought-after property spots takes us to Clay City. Located along Thika Superhighway, edging closer to Nairobi, just a few minutes away from the main road. In this development, they have modern three-bedroom master ensuite apartments with excellent features and finishes in a safe and secure neighborhood. This project has it all. For those looking to buy, a few units are available for sale. And if you're looking for a home to rent, a few units are also available to rent. Defined by serene living and modern haven, Clay City Apartments are located off Thika Road in Kasarani. These modern apartments comprise of 80 three-bedroom units with a plinth area of 110 square meters spread across two blocks. Accommodation features include spacious lounge with dining area, balcony area, kitchen area fitted with granite countertops, master ensuite, common cloakroom, hot water heating system, ceramic tiled floor. Salient features include 24-7 manned gate, boundary wall with electric fence, CCTV surveillance, ample parking area, 
two high-speed lifts per block, children play area, borehole, backup generator for common areas, usable rooftop. The price for these apartments is 8.65 million Kenya shillings. We shift gears and highlight one of the most sought after rental spots located in the heart of Nairobi, Regent Court. This project comprises of both commercial and residential units. And for those who don't want to live far from the CBD, I must say this is a good choice for you. Located along Owings Cordec Road, opposite Nairobi Women's Hospital, Regent Court comprises of both commercial and residential units of 32 houses divided into four blocks, two for residential and two for commercial. Amenities in the project include four-bedroom master ensuite with a plinth area of 1,246 square feet, spacious living area fitted with wooden floors with a door leading to a balcony, spacious dining area, large kitchen with top and bottom cabinets offering enough storage, large windows allowing natural light, laundry area with a sink. Salient features include 24-7 manned gate with a perimeter wall with electric fence, ample parking space, carbro paved driveway, beautifully landscaped garden, park-up generator, street lighting. This development is in close proximity to Yaya Shopping Center, Waridi Paradise Hotel and Nairobi Women's Hospital. We move to another project whose views have skyrocketed this season. Racecourse Gardens is a new urban development nestled around Gong Road. This project is home to different apartment models, from studio apartments to a two-bedroom apartments, which are ideal for a first-time home buyer as well as sound investors. If you're looking to buy or rent, they have options you can pick from. Racecourse Gardens Limited is located in the new urban development nested on Gong Road. The estate is 9.5 kilometers from Nairobi Central Business District and 300 meters off Gong Road. You can get to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in 20 minutes from the Southern Bypass. Racecourse Garden Limited is within easy reach of a number of shopping centers such as Galleria, Junction and Prestige. It is also within close proximity to schools such as Riara Springs Academy and McKinney Schools. Hospitals within the area include Aga Khan, Nairobi Hospital and Karen Hospital. Racecourse Gardens are spectacular community, offering an opportunity to own premium, high-quality apartments with contemporary interior finishes. It offers 436 units, which comprise of studio apartments, standard one-bedroom, deluxe one-bedroom, and two-bedroom apartments. This housing project fits into your lifestyle. Accommodation includes lounge, common washroom, kitchenette, two balconies, one bedroom, ensuite master, fitted wardrobes, and tiled floors. Salient features include smart CCTV on the entire development, standard Wi-Fi on the entire development, nursery school and children's playground, swimming pool and gym, lifts, commercial center, 
lighting and water management set up using the latest green technologies, secure main gate entrance and masonry wall with electric fencing, modern sewage treatment plant, borehole, overhead water tanks, Cabro roads, parking bay for each resident and additional parking for visitors. Next, we look at a project that has not surprised me in the basket of the 10 most sought after properties this season. Bandari Apartments comprises of a three bedroom apartments, ideal for those looking for something with a bit of more space, impeccable designs, high end finishes and a competitive price tag inspiring a new wave of living. Bandari Apartments offer the privacy of community living with high-level security. The development will comprise of three blocks of 198 three-bedroom units. The apartments come in two sizes, middle units of 168 square meters, while the corner apartments have size of 171 square meters. Accommodation features include spacious lounge come dining opening to the balcony, Open plan kitchen fitted with MDF high and low level cabinets and granite worktop, pantry, laundry area, visitors cloakroom, all bedrooms are en suite and fitted with MDF wardrobes, en suite domestic staff quarter. Salient features include perimeter wall, cabra paved driveways, ample parking, two high speed lifts, common areas power backup, landscaping, children's play area, underground and overhead storage water tanks, internet and NATV connectivity, main and boho water supply and solar water heating. Another project that has been highly sought after this season is in the affordable housing basket, Moke Gardens. This eco-friendly gated community gives homeowners a scenic view of Lukenya Hills. Located at the foot of Lukenya Hills, comprises of 49 units of four-bedroom machinettes. This development is approximately 29 kilometers from Nairobi CBD, 1.5 kilometers from Daystar University, and 5 kilometers off Mombasa Road. Accommodation features include spacious open-plan living area, kitchen with fitted cabinets for storage, as well as granite surfaces, spacious bedrooms, with three out of four bedrooms en suite, self-contained DSQ, balcony, and landscaped gardens. Common features include boundary wall with electric fence, 24-hour manned gate, ample parking, backup generator, fresh water supply, solar water heating, and waste water recycling. Nyumbani Concept has taken strides with their unique offline affordable projects, ideal attractive investment opportunities for first time home buyers. Let's see what they have to offer.
Boma Estate is the affordable flagship project by Nyumbani Concepts. This estate is located in Kikuyu Town, 50 meters off the southern bypass. This estate is made of eight units of three bedrooms master en suite, with each house sitting on 40 by 80 plot of land. Accommodation features include three bedroom master en suite, spacious living area fitted with tiles and gypsum ceilings, an open plan kitchen with top and bottom cabinets offering enough storage space, spacious dining area. Amenities include 24-7 manned gate with a perimeter wall and CCTV cameras, ample parking space, carbro paved driveway, beautifully landscaped garden. Next, our shoot location, Royal Gate Estate. This development ticks all the boxes for those seeking comfort living. Everything has been taken care of, offering a contemporary homely feel for house hunters seeking a country lifestyle. Royal Gates is a gated community located in Acacia, four kilometers from Kitangela town. This development consists of 78 four-bedroom detached townhouses. Amenities include a spacious lounge with a separate dining area, modern kitchen fitted with quality appliances and ample storage space, master ensuite bedroom with inbuilt wardrobes and a bathtub, an ensuite guest bedroom, two additional bedrooms with a common bathroom, internet ready as well as a centralized TV port. Other features include detached ensuite DSQ with ample wash area, two parking slots per house, a swimming pool, a fully equipped gym, boho and wastewater recycling system, private gardens, children's playground, CCTV cameras, electric fence and perimeter walls for security, street lighting, solar power and cabra paved driveway. Finally, if you have a plot and are looking to turn it into a dream home, our upskill turnkey budget solution is ready to start this journey with you. With our seven unique ready architectural designs to pick from, a two-bedroom bungalow which can be expanded to a three-bedroom bungalow which comes with an extra bedroom and cloakroom. Our third design is a three-bedroom bungalow with an attic which accommodates the master ensuite with provision of extra cabinetry. The other interesting design is the three-bedroom super bungalow which incorporates the needs of a modern family. In our upscale basket, we also have ready architectural designs for those looking to build a maisonette. The designs offer three or four bedroom maisonette which comes with a DSQ. Upscale Tanki Budget Solution comes with ready architectural designs to pick from, a dedicated team of professionals who will hold your hand step by step, and construction finance is available from our financial partners. If you have a plot, you can now turn it into a dream home seamlessly. Just give us a call and let's get started.
Finding a dream home is a personal process of discovery. Here at The Property Show, we are happy to assist you on your journey. And if you're a developer looking to position and attract good buyers, we have the expertise to get the right buyers and a database to jumpstart the process. Just give us a call or visit our offices and let's get started. We are taking a short break. When we come back, catch the accessory spot. Our favorite home ownership segment. I love the high ceilings. I love the large windows. It's just a beautiful space. That's just enough for me and my, and my baby. The property gallery. Stay tuned, don't touch that dial. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back. You're watching The Property Show. Today, we've been highlighting the most sought after properties this season. The second part of the show brings a most sought after topic on how to accessorize a rental home without breaking the lease agreement. The home ownership segment sharing the most watched home experiences and the ABCs of climbing the property ladder. And finally, the property gallery featuring other investment options available in the market. Coming up, the accessory spots. Use removable wallpaper, the simplest and least expensive way to enhance your rental's architecture is by revamping the walls with removable wallpaper. Installation takes a couple of hours and it's an easy way to personalize a place without permanent change. If doing the whole place seems out of the question, a statement wall could be a nice use for removable wallpaper. Paint the walls neutral colors you like. Painting is normally okay to do in a rented house, as long as the color isn't too polarizing. You want to ask to be sure, but it's an easy way to officially designate a spot as your own. Upgrade the lighting. One of the best ways to infuse some personality into a space is through lighting. Statement fixtures changes the mood of the room while allowing furniture pieces to remain neutral and easy to mix. Changing the bulbs packs high impact for little cost and almost to no effort in creating the kind of atmosphere you want to live in. Upgrade the shower head. It's easy to acquire a new shower head of your preference and can be the missing accessory in upgrading your whole bathroom. It makes a big day-to-day -day difference and it's easy to install. Keep the other shower heads in your bathroom cabinet to swap out once you leave that space. Personalize floors with your own rugs. Large rugs help create the illusion of a larger space and help ground your furniture. They're also a nice way to personalize a room or cover up flooring you don't love but can't rip up. Use unusual furniture. Furniture has its advantages, being something you can bring with you from place to place. Getting statement pieces like the wood stamps above lets you make the space undeniably your own without much effort and zero discontraction or repainting later. 
put up a pin board. Keep your mind organized and your walls pinhole free with a notice board large enough for a busy schedule. A simple style will work in a hallway, kitchen or home office. You can use it to hang jewelry, organize your bedroom or even as a focal point in a shared living space. If you want to go for a more sophisticated look, paint your board in the same color as your walls. The accessory spot segment is where we get a weekly dose on how to spruce up our spaces. Catch more interesting tips next week. Coming up, my favorite segment. Today, we look at some of the most inspiring stories shared right here. Let's hear more. One of the things that uh, happened in my career as I was working is um, I had a very, very close knit of friends and we started an investment group like most women do. And our goal was for all of us to be very clear about why we need to save. Um, one of the very, very good friends was very strong in finance and she taught me very, very good lessons on how to save and to be very deliberate about it. As a woman, you feel very empowered. You set a project, you make a goal, you decide, and then you go for it. But the most important thing is don't buy something that you can't afford, because then you get stressed at the end of the day. Don't buy something you can't afford to pay for, but also maintain, because that's the other big bill that's coming, is you buy the house, and then now the roof has a problem, or you need to do the garden, and all these things cost money. And she taught me that it's very important not to buy for your friends, but to buy for you. So the most important thing I, I discovered is, first of all, when you're selecting off plan, understand the, the layout of the house and understand the layout of the land and pick the plot. If you don't understand how to read the geography of how this thing works, sit with other people and ask for help. There are people who have bought, there's a very big, there's slopes where we live, uh, they didn't know how to read the map and they're upset that half their garden is very steep. So be very, very clear about what you're buying. Do you want to buy flat or do you want to buy a slope? Understand and take the time to understand the detail. If you don't understand the detail, you must have a friend that's an architect. Uh, surely somebody you know will be able to explain to you exactly how it works out. The second thing I realized is um, is once you make the decision, commit to it. If you start getting upset and you're not communicating, then it doesn't matter what that guy does or what she does, you'll be upset when you get the keys to your house as well. Don't keep quiet. The other thing that is critical that I see a lot of people doing and because they want to save money is they don't get their own lawyer. This is a contract. It's a business for the developer. The developer will always ask you to use their lawyer and they will charge you to use their lawyer. So me, I paid twice. I paid for their lawyer, which I think is personally wrong. I don't see why I should pay for your lawyer. And I paid for my lawyer. And your lawyer is there to fight for you and to explain to you the risk of your decisions. If you make this decision, this is the risk. And then you make the business decision to continue. So one of the problems that we had is the developer, obviously, I don't know, they're always in a hurry. If you're not taking a mortgage and you're a cash buyer, however you decide to, to pay for it, they always harass the cash buyers because they want to get as much cash as possible, as fast as possible. So when he finished building the first 22 houses, he then demanded payment, full payment. And, and they've come rough, huh? They come even almost with rungus and they're rough and you're like, so you wake up at three in the morning now, you know, looking for some more money here, selling some shares selling your car, which I eventually did as well, because you're looking for cash, because you don't want to go to the bank and borrow at the end of the day. Um, so what I found is um, your lawyer is, is your lawyer. The people that did not have their lawyer found themselves having to make payments faster. They're stressed, they're 
intimidated, because that's the tactic, to get the money out of you. Me and my lawyer, we said we're not paying. We did not buy a home. We bought a home in a gated community. So even that gate, I own shares in that gate and he hasn't finished building it. The car bro has not gone all the way down to the whatever. I own shares in the swimming pool. So you have to be really um, clear because you have a separate lawyer and that person is fighting for your rights and taking the time to read that contract and sticking to the contract. The final thing is when you do finally move in as well and now you're happy, you're barbecuing with your friends, you discover that actually now you're living with the whole of Kenya and maybe some Zimbabweans and some Chinese people or whatever it is. So learning how to live together in a community. I'm telling you, your neighbor can piss you off to a point where you're in shock. So you have to go and sit back and become a grown-up and learn how to live together. That for me is, is a very interesting part of of doing this. There is nothing as bad as not owning your own home. You don't have a sense of security, you don't feel empowered, and you're wasting money. So there's nothing I would, I would never trade this experience for anything at all. You can always fix people problems, yeah, and at the end of the day, those problems are nowhere near as, as large as uh, the joy of coming and it's my grass. It's my grass, it's my tree, these things weren't there before. That sense of security is, is really important. Thank you so much, Lillian, for having us thank in your Thank you, home. Nancy, what for coming. What a beautiful home. Thank you. We've talked about it for so long. Um, I thank God it happened, finally. Who is Marianne? That's a very interesting question. Marianne is uh, a mother to one son, Kome, who's turning 14 in a, in a few weeks' time. And I'm a career banker, but my calling is really women, women empowerment. I, have, I started doing Chase Women a few years ago, and I got this huge passion and purpose to just serve women, enable women to meet their goals, and recently even to work with women on mental health issues. Let's start off with uh, your home ownership yes. journey. How did you know that this is the time to buy a home? From the time I turned 30, I knew I needed to own a home. And the fact that I was a banker, that a mortgage was available and things like that, a, a cheaper mortgage than, than usual, I knew that I needed to own a home. Somebody told me about this uh, specific estate that was coming up, and it was within the locality of where I lived for many years. And when I came to see the houses, I just fell in love with the house. Oh, and wow. I said, I need to buy this house, it doesn't matter what it takes. So I paid a deposit and two years later the house was complete and I was able to move in. Every mm. home ownership journey is different, it's yes. personal yes. and it has its own challenges. Yes. Yes. What are the main challenges have you faced through this journey? So I think my journey began with, with another home that I had bought somewhere else that I paid a deposit for that I was so excited to, to move in uh, into and uh, that didn't work out so that was one of the hu huge challenges for me because I've not even up to now I've never been able to recover the deposit so I think in terms of home, home ownership is doing your due diligence and knowing who are the right people to work with I don't know what I would have done differently but I really just felt that uh, that was a major setback for me but uh, luckily when I came to this other transaction, it worked well. Actually, there was a hitch in that after I paid the deposit, the bank that was financing me went into receivership. But thanks be to God, I was already working somewhere else, so I was able to, 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 to pay it off. So that has been my, my journey full of ups and downs. And you know, I always say being alone and making such huge decisions is also frightening. I used to sleep at night and think, what? <laughs> Those are huge amounts of money to, to, to take as a mortgage, but I thank God that I was able to do it. What is the mm. one thing you love in this home? What I love most about this home is it's just the community, that we're in an enclosed, gated community. So we have neighbours, you have your own compound, where of course I can sit in the garden, my son and I can have our own space and, and do whatever we want to, to do because the house has lots and lots of space. I love the high ceilings, I love the large windows. It's just a beautiful space that's just enough for me and my and my baby. This met the dream that I had for my own home. And the kitchen, the bedrooms, my, the master bedroom is beautiful. So I think it met everything that I was looking for in a home. 
Yeah. Going back to the house that you are buying that has not completed to date, yes. you haven't received your refund for the deposit. Mm -hmm. So many people today have also started that journey and yes. they're in that space. Yes. Is it that you didn't use professionals? Is it that you didn't do your due diligence? What could have gone wrong? I think we were just excited and, and in the place I was working a lot of us wanted to buy a house in that specific place so all of us are still are stuck in that many. We didn't do our due diligence. In fact, I remember taking the, the, the lease agreement, the sale agreement, now years later to a lawyer and saying, you, you didn't even do a, a lease agreement with the developer, we did a sale agreement with an individual, one of the individuals. I think I did it in a hurry, I didn't seek legal advice, I didn't do my due diligence. What I would advise anybody who is looking to buy a house, just work with professionals and people who are just have a good reputation and you can look back at something, at the history and see what they have achieved. Before. A lot of people mm. think that working with professionals is too expensive and I've always said cheap is more yeah, expensive. True. True. Yeah. That is so true, that is so true. I learned, I learned that the hard way. So just work with professionals and you, you, I mean, you pay a little more, but you get value for value and security for your money. What are your future plans when it comes to the real estate and growing your real estate portfolio? That's very interesting because I've, I've been thinking about expanding my real estate portfolio, getting even rental houses and, you know, getting other pieces of property here and there. After I finish paying this mortgage, then I'll, I'll be able to, to diversify and get rental houses. Yes. Congratulations, yes. Miriam, yeah. well done. I Thank know you. this journey has been a real journey. It's been a tough journey, but it's been a good, fulfilling journey. We thank yes. God. Yes, we thank, we thank God. God. The home ownership segment remains my favorite. And let me say thank you to all homeowners who have continued to share their stories on this platform. You too could encourage the next homeowner. Just give us a call and let's hear your story. Coming up, the property gallery with other investment options available in the market. King Serenity offers space, warmth, and comfort you deserve when buying your first home. This affordable residential complex consists of two bedroom apartments with a plinth area of 1,000 square feet built up space. The amenities include cross ventilated apartments and a well planned layout and compact design, spacious lounge come dining area, a separate toilet with a shower. Other features include green spaces and attractive landscaping, kids' play area, solar street lighting, secured masonry boundary wall, controlled access for tight security, well-planned security checkpoints, borehole with overhead storage tank, cover paving blocks to driveways, ample parking space for residents as well as guests, and a community hall for residents, entertainment and meetings. Kitengela Terraces is a development designed ideally for exclusive and comfortable living and comprises of 40 exquisite two-bedroom apartments set amidst tranquil environment in Milimani area, Kitengela, with the access road right opposite the Nairobi Women's Hospital. Accommodation includes lounge with balcony, large windows bringing natural light, dining area, open plan kitchen with granite worktops, Dobie area, state-of-the-art finishes with attention to detail, visitor's cloakroom and master bedroom ensuite. Salient features include perimeter wall with electric fencing and a guardhouse, ample parking space and adequate visitor's parking, 
carbon paved walkways, solar water heating and borehole. Located along Waiyaki Way, Waiyaki Ridge Gardens are two- and three-bedroom apartments 200 meters off Waiyaki Way. The apartments feature large open-plan living area, spacious well-fitted kitchen, and ensuite master bedroom. The amenities include six high-speed lifts, backup generators, playground, electric fence, 24-7 CCTV surveillance, and borehole. The apartments are in close proximity to Kianda School and Nairobi School. The development has easy access to Westlands with amenities such as the Mall, Westgate Mall and Sarit Centre. Finn Heights Apartments Located in Dagoreti of Kikuyu Road, this development comprises of 28 modern two- and three-bedroom apartment units. With their strategic location just 100 meters off Kikuyu Road, the apartments are easily accessible. There is also easy access to Nairobi CBD and Westlands using Naibasha Road and the airport using the Southern Bypass. Accommodation features include Spacious lounge come dining area making it easy to operate in both areas without difficulties. Modern fitted kitchen with granite countertops which are durable and also add a fine touch to this space. The pantry is adjoined to the kitchen to provide sufficient storage for foodstuffs and kitchen products. Common cloakroom for the guests and separate derby area where you can do your laundry with ease. The two and three bedrooms have inbuilt wardrobe closets which act as storage space and the master bedroom ensuite, giving you a chance to relax in your own private space. Salient features include perimeter wall, electric fence and also a CCTV for security. To high speed lifts, there is a generator for power backup. This tackles the issue of blackouts. Bowhole for sufficient water supply making sure you never run out of water. Plug-in TV and fiber connectivity, ample parking space, children's play area, and elevated splash pools which act as a relaxing joint for one to just chill and enjoy life. Thank you for watching The Property Show. Next Sunday, join the conversation with the movers and shakers unpacking the dynamic real estate market. Till then, let's keep talking on our social media handles. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri!